I feel I have forgiven my worst nemesis in the world, yet this still feels sticky, in quotes, somehow. I find I still do not wish them success and even might feel better or gloat about their failure in life, like I'd like karma to get the best of them. Is that okay? I think you wouldn't be asking, is that okay, if you thought that it was okay. So you think you've forgiven your worst nemesis in the world, but it still feels sticky somehow, and like you could even gloat if they had a challenge or problem, and you don't really wish them success. Does that sound like true forgiveness to you? based on everything we've talked about now, about how forgiveness is allowing ourselves to admit that we are completely and utterly divine and so is everybody else. If someone's having a challenging time, it's because they're sucked into the illusion and yeah, instant karma will probably get them. So you will have a, if you wanna gloat or need to gloat, you will, but uh, when you get there, if you're being an aware and conscious person and if you're listening to these kinds of things, you're not gonna gloat. You're going to feel that, that you want the best for everybody and that everyone's doing the best they can, that this can be, a, again, a very challenging experience to be in the world and of it, and that the moment that we recognize there's more or there's a way out, how amazing that you're not one of the people that thinks that that's all there is and that the only way out is to die. Imagine how amazing that is. Feel how blessed that is, how privileged that is to know that you can leave the world of pain at any time by just forgiving it and letting everyone lead their own sacred path and do what they got to do and not gloat or feel happy if someone is having a more challenging time. That's not oneness. That's definitely the voice of separation. That means you think they're there and you're here. You're not remembering that you're dreaming them and that you can actually dream a dream of unification where you dream everyone else having a better life and a better time. You'll be inspired to, to in quotes, help or see the light in them in a more substantial way. And then watch how things come around for you that the very person that you were wishing possibly to have a hard time or karma to get them, They'll probably come back if you can hold the space of peace for them and offer you such a beautiful, blissful gift that you'll wonder why you ever on earth would want anything but peace and joy and happiness for them. So stay with true forgiveness, true forgiveness, this mystical version of forgiveness where you're letting the divine lead the way and see them, see them through divine eyes. Don't imagine that your idea of them, if you're seeing them as, as somebody who's you have a grievance with or who's hard to be around, you're not seeing who they really are. Remember back to that woman in Macy's. I didn't know I could see who she really was, but she showed up pretty quickly as soon as I said something that was nice and appreciative about her to her. She was craving that, obviously. Five people had the opportunity before me to be able to say something nice and kind to her to bring out who she truly is. And all of them were missing it just because they were watching her and believing who she believed she was at that moment. Don't get captivated by the world. It'll throw you off every single time. Let yourself know what your true heart of hearts is saying and feeling and wanting for others. And you'll find that you want for them the very same thing you want for you, peace and joy and love.